Hey my fellow Atari Jaguar gamers, and welcome to another Let's Play. Today I'm going to play Defender 2000. Okay, again I'm recording this footage after the fact because of technical issues. Anyway, I'm going to get started. First things first, I love this music. This is so damn good. Okay. Some of you guys may be thinking, where have you heard this music before? Well, if you've played Tempest 2000, then you know where you've heard this from. Because Jeff Mitchell, who made Tempest 2000, also made Defender 2000, and he had the same orchestra make the music. And this is really damn good music. Like, this song, frankly, deserves a an award in itself. I think Defender 2000 should have gotten the reward for best music. Okay, Defender 2000 is an update of the classic arcade hit Defender. Your objective is to stop aliens from taking humans. Yeah, see these flashy visuals? This is basically a Jeff Minter style. Okay. One thing I'm going to tell you guys right up front is a lot of people complain about this game because it's not um, more widescreen mode. What they mean by that is with the original Defender is you could see more of the screen because objects were smaller, like you'd have more warning time, but in this game everything's bigger so it's easier to run into something, especially when enemies start appearing in front of you out of nowhere. Now, I don't think it's that bad a thing, but I do admit it would have been better if this was a bit more widescreen, but... The Raider system is definitely an asset. Okay, as you can see right now, I have a bunch of power-ups. You get them by either saving a human or just by collecting special stuff on the screen. Like, I have a shield and extra firepower. And this really makes a difference. Yeah, another thing... After every level, every human you save is uh, adds to your points and you can get extra lives, so that's definitely a goal to work towards. Now, you're going to encounter different types of aliens, and like, see right there, all you have to do is collide with one, unless you got a shield, you're dead. Yeah, some of these aliens, I swear they're uh, kamikaze pilots because they'll purposely run into you. And again, listen to that music, that is just perfect. Anyway, rely on your radar system a lot and be very, con like, uh, careful with your, like... Okay, you can go very fast in these levels, but, um, my advice to you is don't do that. If you do that, you're probably gonna die. Be very conservative with where you aim, like, uh... Go very slow across the screen, like, very cautiously, and do a very good... And just be very careful with your aiming. You see this special orb right there? That's basically a new weapon. It basically locks onto your enemies for you. Yeah, all that screaming in here is me dropping humans. Now you can catch them, but if you don't, then they die. So try and avoid that. Yeah, another good thing is the sound effects in this game too are top notch, like this is really good. And, like one thing that this definitely does show is the Jaguar's got really good sound capabilities. One thing I will say guys is after every level you play this game gets more and more intense because it gets more and more challenging, you're gonna have to deal with a lot more enemies and they will suddenly appear out of nowhere at you. I think I dropped a human. Yeah, another thing, guys, like I said, try and avoid killing humans if you can. Yeah. 
And one thing, guys, I do have to talk about is, um... You see those purple red things right there? That's a really weird enemy that can basically lock onto you. Even if you take out part of it, the rest of it will actually chase you across the screen, so uh, be very careful when dealing with that enemy. As you can see guys, this game gets more and more intense, like I said, on every level, like I'm encountering a lot more enemies. Now, once you get, like, extra weapons during each level, it does help, but unfortunately, they don't carry over into the following levels, so, uh, that's the only thing that's kind of a drawback. Okay guys, I'm going to talk a little bit about the graphics. Um, one thing I will say is they're pretty good resolution, like they definitely look pretty good for this game. Now, I know that Jaguar can do better than this, but these are still pretty top-notch stuff. But you have to remember, these may not look like much, but this is a classic update, so they can only upgrade it so much if they want to keep the, the same feel of the game. But, I will say though, from the colors and that, like this is definitely a much better crafted Jaguar game than a lot of them. And even and this is technically a shooter per se and it's really good. This game will offer you a lot of challenge. Ooh, right now I got a bunch of firepower, nice. As you guys can see right now I have like a ton of firepower and this is what you want. This makes the levels a lot more easy to survive, but you can still die. Like I say guys, this is actually a very challenging game. For retro gamers, this is definitely one that's going to be up your alley, or for you that really got into, like, any of you that are really good at arcade games, this is for you. Anyone looking for a challenge, this is also for you. Like I said guys, this is a really fun game, but it is challenging. Like I said, beating this will require a lot of concentration, a lot of strategy, and a lot of patience, but it's a really fun game, like definitely one of the better ones in the Jaguar. Unfortunately, this game came out late in the Jaguar's lifespan, unlike Tempest 2000, so it's hard to find. Especially if you want to get it cheap, like this game could cost you up to 100 bucks, unfortunately. But it is a good game, and unfortunately though, it's never been ported to a newer console, which sucks. Truthfully, I don't know why. However, I will say though, this is definitely a game worth getting. Now one thing though this game is missing and I wish it did have is like Tempest 2000 you have a co-op mode but Defender 2000 the only type of multiplayer you have is uh, each of you takes a turn playing a level I mean it's it's not the same like I wish there was a co-op feature that would make this so much better. Oh no, I lost a bunch of humans. And another thing guys, when you're firing, don't go too close to the ground or you're going to start killing humans like in a massive slaughter and you don't want to do that. One thing I will say is the radar system is very effective when you want to know, like, especially when you got so much firepower, it can help you know what elevation you need to be at. Yeah. 
And as you can see guys, what happened just there, sometimes you'll go onto a level and there'll be an enemy waiting for you the second you materialize, so uh, be, be very cautious when you start every level, especially in the higher stages. As you can see guys, this is getting a lot more intense now because I'm encountering enemies almost every second. And yes, I just got killed by a rest in peace tombstone. Now, I'm not sure what's happening here. I don't know if the aliens have basically destroyed the city and I'm now in space or something, but like as punishment, now the enemies are stronger. Like uh, now there's spaceships that can fire at you and all that. It makes it, and you have to encounter a lot more enemies. Like it makes it harder. But I love some of these color effects. And like again, this music is top notch. As you can see though, it's super easy to die, especially on these challenging like uh, sections where you're encountering more enemies. Okay, it looks like the colors have changed a little bit, but like I said, these are some pretty interesting color effects they came up with. Jeff Mitchell was definitely one of the better uh, game designers for Jaguar games. Just too bad he only worked on classic titles, it would have been interesting what he could have done with a modern title for the Jaguar. Yeah, from what I can tell, you basically, if uh, the aliens destroy a level, you're basically stuck uh, on two levels of uh, fighting uh, enormous amounts of enemies which have been enhanced. Then you return to a normal level, so it's uh, challenging, like you're stuck up in space. You're facing a ton of aliens. And see, like, uh, you can die super easily. One thing I will tell you guys, this game will keep you on your toes. It requires a lot of concentration, but like I said, it is fun. And guys, right now I'm in like a bonus stage area. Basically, you have to stay on this like a cover, um, substream, I guess you'd call it. And again, listen to that music, eh? It's just perfect. Oh, 